Growing concerns about President Biden's age looming over his re-election campaign. But a new op-ed argues age is not the only issue, but rather a failure to be seen as presidential. According to the Wall Street Journal, quote, Biden's errors have the potential to shape views of him uh, more uh, of him more than prior president's missteps uh, colored their image. Not just because Biden at age 81 is the nation's oldest sitting president, but also because he hasn't built an image as a strong leader or created an emotional bond with voters. Fox News contributor Byron York joins us now. You know, Byron, what I love about this quote is it reminds me of the debate moment with President Reagan, where he says he's not going to use youth and inexperience against his opponent. That's likening yourself to voters, turning an issue on its head. I haven't seen President Biden have any moment anywhere near that. Uh, what's your take on this? No, he absolutely hasn't. Well, in my opinion here is this all actually goes back to the president's age and infirmity, and in, in, in this way. Everybody knows the presidency is the most demanding job in the world. They have watched Barack Obama, who took the job in his 40s, look a lot older uh, when he finished. The same for George W. Bush, who took the job in his 50s, aged him a lot. So when they look at Joe Biden, they see just a different level of age and infirmity. They believe the president is really not up to the job. And that leads to this question. Who's really in charge? I've had people on the campaign trail ask me that question, like I knew who was in charge. Uh, and But it just leads to this normal speculation. This man, President Biden, doesn't really look like he could handle the whole job of the presidency. So who's really doing it? You know, this report comes out and Democrats, the White House specifically, get really upset about the verbiage in the report. I read it and I see a special counsel using verbiage that he believes Biden himself would use to excuse forgetting about classified information. But in your op-ed in the Washington Examiner, you said, you know, listen, even before this report, there were significant questions and big concerns. Did, did this report hurt Biden so much this week as much as maybe the presser afterwards? Well, I, I think actually it, it did hurt him a lot in, in this way. Biden actually did count, I think, on a lot of members of the press to maybe not really cover for him, but <laughs> not pay as much attention yeah. to some of his gaffes and missteps and just the fact that he, he doesn't seem up to the job. Uh, and what happened was when you had an official voice the uh, special counsel looking into the Biden classified documents matter come out and in a report say this and then and say in a in a recorded interview with the special counsel Biden couldn't remember this he couldn't remember that he couldn't remember when he was vice president um, I think it was impossible for the press to ignore and you know when Biden came out and gave his very very ill considered uh, news conference the night the report came out uh, the press was like a mob they were yelling at him. Uh, and you, have you seen that in the Biden White House? I have not. <laughs> well, and on and that topic, so it was. Well, and yeah. on that topic, if the press isn't going to cover for him, maybe that's why he doesn't do a Super Bowl interview, something that has become a bit of a tradition. And so now he's decided not to. He's taking some flack from that. This is James Carville uh, giving his take on it. It's the biggest television audience, not even close. And you get a chance to do a 20, 25 minute interview on that day and you don't do it, that's a kind of sign that the staff or yourself doesn't have much confidence in you. There's no other way to read this. And he's not going to do debates. He is old. I, I, I know what it is because I'm almost as old as he is. And it's never going to get better. It's quite a poignant way to put it. Yeah. And he might have added, it's an election year and he's yeah. doing this. Now, now Biden declined to do it last year, really, for the same reasons. But last year, the interview, uh, the Super Bowl was on Fox and a whole lot of Democrats watch Fox. But some Democratic leaders like to bash Fox for being right wing. Uh, and so Biden actually kind of got away with that by by almost not mm -hmm. doing the Super Bowl interview for ideological reasons. Now it's on CBS and he doesn't really have an excuse like that. And he He's just not doing it any, anyway. And, and what's pretty clear is the president just doesn't feel that he could risk what is likely a pretty friendly interview, but would have that huge audience that James Carville was talking about. Byron, thanks for joining us. If you're going to run for president, you got to be able to talk to the American people. So we'll see how this goes. I appreciate you. Thank you, Joey. Yes, sir. 
I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.